Hey guys, I Dusk here. It's been a few days since my last Animal Crossing Tips and Tricks video, and that's because I've been busy locking over 150 hours into this game. Yikes, I've been playing it quite a bit. But today I have a video that I think will help a lot of people because I see a lot of questions surrounding the new Mystery Islands introduced in New Horizons. Which is why today I will be making a complete guide to the Mystery Islands as well as answering some of the questions I've been seeing online. So for the price of 2,000 Nook Miles tickets, you can visit the Mystery Island after just a few days on the island. You can visit the Mystery Island as many times as you want each day, but you will need a new Nook Miles ticket for each trip. These Nook Miles tickets are only for the Mystery Islands. You do not need one to visit a Friends Island or to go to Harv's Photoshop Island or anything like that. One more important detail is you can only make one trip per island, which means that you cannot go back for items left behind. So it's a good idea to make sure that your inventory is clear of everything besides the tools you're going to be using to make room for all the stuff you might want to bring back. So when you arrive to your very first mystery island, you will always find another villager visiting. If you talk to them a few times, you can eventually invite them to come live on your island for good. Once you invite three villagers this way, however, you will need to wait a few days before inviting uh, some more people, so make sure your three, or first three villagers are the ones that you really, really like. After you invite the first three villagers, you're going to have to wait for them to move into your town one by one, and then wait until you're given the ability to place new housing plots after probably about the first week or so of playing. Uh, so until then, you can still visit the Mystery Islands, but you won't see villagers on them. After you unlock the ability to place vacant housing plots, you'll be able to invite villagers once again as long as you have an available unit on your island, but you will be limited to inviting only one per day. Aside from villagers, you will also find plenty of resources to farm. There will be trees to chop, rocks to hit, fruit, flowers, and weeds galore. A lesser known fact is you will also always find a piece of furniture in one of the trees which can only be found by shaking the trees, not by chopping them. So if you want to get that furniture, make sure you shake down all the trees first, then whip out your axe and start chopping them down for wood. There will also always be at least one tree with a wasp nest in it. Now I'm not sure if that's seasonal, uh, it might just be seasonal or not, I'm not too sure. But as of right now, as of recording this video, there's always going to be a wasp nest. You also have the chance of finding a DIY recipe in a bottle somewhere on the beach. After your first Mystery Island tour, you will then have the chance at encountering some special islands that will be a bit different than your normal tour, such as the popular Tarantula Island, where instead of farming resources, you'll be farming creepy crawlies. There's also special islands that spawn rare fish, bamboo trees, different fruits, money rocks, hybrid flowers. There's even an island that has rivers filled with just garbage to fish up, which sounds kind of lame, but it's pretty good for farming nook miles. And you'll get some DIY recipes that recycle all that trash, so it's actually not that bad of an island to get. And of course, the weather on each island can also differ uh, from the weather on your island, which might be a good opportunity for catching some certain species of fish and bugs and stuff like that. And that about covers everything you need to know about the Mystery Islands in Animal Crossing New Horizons. If I left anything out or you want to uh, have some more questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you found the video useful, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for some more Animal Crossing content, including my daily live streams here on YouTube. We also have a growing Discord community, which you can trade items or find turnip prices and stuff like that, so I'll have that linked in the comments below. Be sure to check that out as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.